Hi there, my name is Bart Bassens. I'm the program coordinator of the Master of Information Management. As you may know, we also have a Dutch speaking variant of the program, Master in Informatie Management. We do recommend you to follow as much as possible the English variant of the program, Master of Information Management. As it is more international, it is more culturally diverse and will create more interesting collaborations and discussions. First, a little bit of information about myself. I work at the Faculty of Economics and Business at the KU Leuven. Our faculty is situated at the Namsestraat 69 in the heart of Leuven. You can find my email address listed on the slide. I do not have office hours, but if there are questions or things that you would like to discuss with me, just send me an email and ask for an appointment. Depending upon the situation then, we can see whether we can have an online or offline appointment. The study counselor is Ms. Silke Scheepmans. She can be reached by means of our FEB advisor application, of which you see the link listed there. You can ask her questions about the composition of your study program, your study progress, or general questions about studying at our faculty. What are the goals of the information management program? Well, the aim of the program is a non-technical education in information management. We are not going to focus on hardware. We're not going to focus on how a computer internally works but we are going to focus on the efficient use and management of information technology in a business context. When I say business context, think about business activities such as human resources, finance, marketing, production and logistics, accounting, etc. We will explore how emerging information management or ICT technologies can leverage new business opportunities in each of these areas. Think about applications such as big data and analytics, or technologies such as self-driving cars, such as drones, etc. All of these will pose interesting information management challenges that we will try to address as much as possible throughout the various courses. Starting from a basic technological background, the information management program will further elaborate upon the managerial potential thereof. We will do that across the different levels of management, starting at the operational level, the tactical level, and then moving on to the strategic level and see how new emerging ICT technologies can leverage new strategic opportunities. In line with the MSIS 2006 and IS 2010 education frameworks in information management, our program aims at providing you with new skills, knowledge and insight in five different areas. First, we will look at the managerial aspects of information and communication technology. As said, we will do that across the different levels of management, the operational level, which is the short term level, the tactical level, which is the midterm level, and the strategic level, which is the long term level. We will extensively study the analysis and modeling of information in a business context. We will study the analysis and modeling of data, processes, and decisions. When we look at information management, or when we look at information systems, we will try to look at them in terms of ICT architectures. ICT architectures that consist of various components, which also need to communicate in an efficient and effective way. We will also teach you about advanced information process and knowledge management. An example thereof is big data and analytics. We will also teach you a professional and scientific information attitude. We will show you how you can look up scientific references, how you can critically study them and critically evaluate them. For example, 
within the context of your master thesis. Many companies these days face a humongous need for information management. Think about Facebook, for example. I'm sure you all have a Facebook account. You have a Facebook profile, you like pages, and you share pages or share Facebook posts. This is being used by Facebook to do various types of things. It can be used for advertisement, for example, to decide which banners to place on your Facebook uh, page as you log on to Facebook. But it can also be used for other types of applications, such as credit scoring, for example, to see whether a person is credit worthy, yes or no, based on their Facebook profile. Obviously, this comes with various challenges, both technologically, in terms of information management, but also non-technologically, for example, in terms of privacy, which is also studied within the context of the program. Or think about Netflix, where you watch your favorite movies or television series, such as Money Heist or Casa del Papel, etc. Netflix stores information about what viewers watch what movies and how they appreciate these movies or television series. This is then being used by Netflix to decide what movies or television series to recommend to particular types of users. Think about YouTube or think about companies like Amazon. Amazon stores information about what books or items you purchase on their website, which is again being used to make things like product bundles, to give you promotions, coupon codes, etc. I myself, I work in big data analytics or machine learning. And we extensively discuss this topic across the various um, courses that we offer in the program. Here you can see some examples of news articles just to indicate the relevance of machine learning and big data and analytics. One of the unique selling points of our program is that we provide industry-driven education. In fact, we collaborate with a diversity of firms across various industries, but also across various countries. Firms such as banks like KBC, like ING, like uh, BNP Paribas Fortis, but also firms like Brussels Airport, Coca-Cola, SAP, IBM, SAS, etc. The experience or experiences that we have learned by collaborating with these different firms are directly embedded throughout our lecturing. Let's now have a closer look at the buildup of the Master of Information Management and what, it, what are the various courses that it consists of. It's a one-year program, which means that it should cover 60 study points or 60 ECTS. The block of 60 study points is subdivided into four sub-blocks. So we have some mandatory courses in information management highlighted in red. Then we have some mandatory basic courses highlighted in yellow. We have the master thesis, which counts for 15 study points. And then we have some electives, which you can freely choose. Amongst the mandatory courses in information management, we have business analysis, ICT service management, architecture and modeling of management information systems, and knowledge management and business intelligence. The mandatory basic courses are principles of database management, which I teach myself, and business information systems. Electives are courses that you can freely choose yourself, and we group them in three tracks. The first track are a set of data science electives where you can choose courses related to machine learning, data mining, etc. The second track is software engineering electives and the last track is management electives where you can choose courses that focus more on the managerial challenges of information management. You can see our professors. First, we have Professor Monique Snook, who is the chairman of or chairwoman of our group. 
Her core expertise is on Unified Modeling Language, or UML, which is one of the core information management technologies to model data processes and decisions. She's also an expert in requirements engineering and business process modeling. Professor Wilfried Lamayeu is the dean of our faculty, and his core expertise is situated in distributed architectures, databases and data integration, and business process modeling. Professor Jochen de Weert works in process mining, business process management, business process modeling, and analytics. I myself work in big data and analytics, machine learning, credit risk, and fraud detection. Professor Feli Bert focuses on quality of service, network economics and management, and collaborative systems. And finally, Professor Van Tienen focuses on business rules and processes, smart and flexible systems, information management, and process analytics. What do we consider to be the key strengths of the program? Well, we provide you with interactive, feedback-driven education. That means that nearly all courses will, will involve assignments, which will give you the opportunity to try out some of the concepts or technologies that we have discussed on the real-life case or on real-life data. We will provide you with exercise sessions and also, obviously, with intermediate feedback on how you can learn from your mistakes. The next key strength is that we provide you with research-driven education. We have research collaborations across various industries and countries, and we will directly embed or state-of-the-art research findings throughout the various lectures. Finally, we will also provide you with the industry perspective. That means that our courses will include guest speakers that will discuss real-life case studies. Obviously, there's also the master project, which will allow you to work out an information management case in collaboration with a company. As I already said, many courses will involve assignments. So here are some recommendations for good practices. Take your assignments seriously as they typically count for a substantial amount of the marks. All lectures will communicate the deadlines for submission in an unambiguous way. Those deadlines are to be strictly respected. If you miss a deadline, it will not reflect very good upon you. So try to always respect the deadline and make sure that you submit your assignment on time. Many of those assignments will be team-based because we consider team collaboration to be very important. Think about your master project, for example. So when you compose your team, carefully choose your team members. Make sure there are people that you can collaborate with. Try to manage and deal with team conflicts and avoid team failure. This is also a challenge that you will face as you will graduate and start working in a real-life company. The master thesis provides you with the ultimate opportunity to combine theory, practice, and creativity, and it's typically organized in collaboration with a company. It's performed in groups of three students on a variety of topics, big data analytics, machine learning, recommender systems, enterprise modeling, data quality, network economics, etc. It's typically guided or supervised by a promoter which is a professor or a PhD, that could be a postdoc, for example, and a daily supervisor whom you can contact for um, all types of questions regarding your master thesis. It has three parts. There will be a first seminar in which we will teach you the basic concepts of information systems theory. This first seminar will be organized in October. The second seminar will allow you to present your intermediate results and it's organized in February. The final defense will then take place in May or June. We will provide you with more information about this at the start of the academic year. What are the students versus lecturer expectations? What do we as lecturers, as professors, expect from the students following the information management program? Well, as you may have seen, 
every course has a number of study points allocated to it. Big courses have six study points. Smaller courses have three to four study points. One study point corresponds to about 25 or 30 hours of work on average. So six study points counts for about 150 to 180 study hours. Obviously, this is an average and will differ from student to student and course to course. So one hour of lecture corresponds to about three hours of student work. One hour of lecture or teaching could correspond to one hour of study, one hour for tasks and assignments, and one hour of exam preparation. Or, alternatively, one hour of teaching could correspond to two hours of study and one hour of exam preparation. It's very important that you attend the lectures, both offline or online, and pay attention. Try to keep up with the material, as this will substantially facilitate your learning experience. Read the course text at home, preferably prior to class. Participate in all exercise and feedback sessions that are being organized, or discussions, online or offline. Make sure you make your assignments, and very important, as already mentioned, submit them on time. As I already said as well, many courses involve assignments and they count for a substantial amount of the marks, so make sure you do them as good as possible. What can students expect from us? Well, you can expect high quality lecturing. We will do our utmost best to try to convey all material in the most optimal way by using different types of learning methods, online, offline, blended learning, etc. We will provide answers to your questions typically by email within five working days. So give us five days to reply to your email. Could also be right before or after class, during breaks, or upon appointment by sending an email to your professor. We will also give you feedback after the assignments and our exercise sessions. Here you can see some of the job profiles that we aim for. We do not aim for an application developer. We do not aim for an IT security and risk manager or network administrator, as we consider those more technically oriented profiles, which are less management oriented. We do focus on job profiles such as business analyst, business process analyst, database analyst, e-business manager, IT architect, IT consultant, and project manager, for example. The information management program also has two Facebook groups, one public group, which has public read access for students, alumni, professors, and assistants. Announcements will be made here in addition to announcements on Toledo, which is our online learning platform. We also have a private student group, which is only available to students and alumni, in case you would like to discuss issues which are not to be seen by your professors. In case you have remaining practical questions, check out the websites for the English and Dutch programs which you see listed right there. And if you haven't found what you're looking for or have further questions, you can send a message using the web form which you also see indicated right there. I hope to welcome you in our Master of Information Management. If you have remaining questions targeted at myself, feel free to send me an email. Thank you.